Congressional negotiators emerged from behind closed doors to announce agreement on a massive stimulus package to jumpstart the economy. The middle ground we've reached creates more jobs than the original Senate bill and spends less than the original House bill. This bill creates three and a half million jobs. The deal comes in at $789 billion, almost $50 billion less than the plan approved in the Senate, $30 billion less than the House plan. It is a fiscally responsible number that reflects our efforts to truly focus this bill on programs and policies and tax relief that will help turn our economy around, create jobs, and provide relief to the families of our country. Senator Susan Collins is one of three Republican moderates, along with Arlen Specter and Olympia Snow, who rode herd on spending and whose support was critical to striking the deal. More than a third of the package goes for tax cuts that will benefit 95% of workers. And about $150 billion goes for infrastructure improvements. But many Democrats are unhappy because the package doesn't include as much money as they would like for schools and education programs. Just hours earlier, President Barack Obama visited a windy road construction site to stress the need for the package. We're surrounded by unmet needs and unfinished business in our schools, in our roads, in the systems we employ to treat the sick, in the energy we use to power our homes. Republicans have charged from the outset that the package is full of spending that won't boost the economy. The compromise agreement coming after barely a day of negotiations puts Democrats on track to meet their self-imposed deadline of having a final stimulus package on the president's desk by Monday. Jerry Bodlander, The Associated Press, Capitol Hill.